Hey, Craig here. I just thought I'd do a video on uh, powder coating. Right. Okay, I'm going to be powder coating these three steel cover plates here. I'm actually going to be doing each one a different color, and I'm going to do them all at the same time. Alright, well, the first thing I need to do is uh, sandblast them, so let me uh, put them in sandblaster. Okay, I got them all sandblasted. I basically took all the, the shine off of them. Uh, because the shine won't uh, won't allow the powder coat to adhere well, so I got that all sandblasted. Now I'm just gonna clean them off with the gun here. All right. Okay, now I'm going to wipe them down with uh, acetone. Oops, get some new gloves. Okay, and I got my gloves on. I'm going to wipe them down with uh, acetone here. Actually, I'm going to dunk them in acetone first. Kind of like a little acetone bath here. Now, clean them down good here. Change the corner here because it gets all dirty. Alright, now I will uh, preheat the oven, the powder coat oven, so I can uh, preheat these parts. Okay, so while the oven is preheating, I'm going to go ahead and hang up my parts. I'm going to keep using gloves. I don't want to get any uh, oil from my fingers or anything on them. So I'll just go ahead and hang my uh, parts here on the little rack that I made out of uh, aluminum angle from Home Depot. Uh, the hooks are just uh, number 14 copper wire that I had, that I stripped. I had a whole roll of uh, uh, 14 gauge solid copper wire. So okay, so I'll wait for the oven to preheat. Okay, I have the uh, oven preheated to uh, 450 degrees. Now I'm going to go ahead and take the rack that I have here. And pop it in the oven. And I will go ahead and let that uh, preheat for 20 minutes. All right. Okay, the parts have finished uh, preheating. I'm going to take them out of the oven here. Cool off. All right. Okay, the parts have finished cooling off, and I've brought them back over here to wash them again. Um, I noticed that some of them actually, actually all of them changed colors. Uh, one's a little bit brown, some of them actually turned a little kind of purplish color. I'm not sure why, but um, I'm going to go ahead and clean them again. with acetone okay okay I have the oven preheating again uh, for the actual curing uh, 
Alright, as I said before, I'm going to be doing this in uh, three separate colors. I actually have uh, three separate guns over here, one for each color. So I'm going to start off with, with black. hold the, the button in the hand like this so I can move it around. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't run this yet, so I gotta... Okay. Alright. Get a uh, mask on. And now I'm going to do bronze or brown. Okay, I got all three covers there in the oven. Uh, I've set it for five minutes. I'm going to come back and check to see if it's uh, flowed out or has basically melted. Uh, at which point, then I will reduce it down. I'm at 450 right now. Then I'll reduce it down to 400 and uh, bake it for uh, 20 minutes. Okay, well, this is the while this is. Uh, uh, heating up. Um, this is actually the first time I actually had uh, a steel turn uh, brownish and purplish on there. The steel I'm actually using is what Home Depot calls uh, plain steel. Uh, this is uh, 16 gauge. Uh, what I've been using on other things is uh, this is a cold roll. I don't know exactly what they're Plain, it looks like cold rolled when you look at it, but um, what I'm usually what I usually use is a, a cold rolled uh, from a Metal Depot. So I'm not sure what the deal is with that. Yeah, check to see if we have flow out here. Okay, well it all looks pretty shiny, so I think I have flow out, so I'm going to set it for 20 minutes. And reduce the temperature down to 
400. Okay, while well, I'm waiting for that to cure, I thought I'd uh, go over uh, or show you my setup over here. It's kind of a mess over here, and I'm trying to keep all the wires and stuff straight here, but um, basically I have a small air compressor that I bought a while ago, uh, and I have it regulated down to, uh, I believe it's like 10 pounds. And I basically just have all the grounds from those right up to a wire that's hanging from the ceiling. And then I just have these hooks and I just hook them on there so that gives me my ground there, so... Okay, well the problem that I was having before or still having, um, is, uh, I guess what they call pitting. Um, if you look at it like this, I mean, it looks pretty good, you know, but if you get up closer, you can see these little, you see that little spot right there, and there's some over there, right there, Uh, yeah, you can see them really good right there. Um, I mean, from what I've read, it seems like it's supposed to be from uh, outgassing or something, like something uh, stuck in the pores of the metal. Um, I think Eastwood said to uh, their manual say to preheat it to try and get everything out of the pores and then clean it again. So I tried to do a better job this time of uh, preheating it and... Uh, and cleaning it so hopefully hopefully it won't have that this time so okay well it looks like it's all done the uh, 20 minutes are up let me uh, take it out of the oven here and see what it uh, see what it looks like Won't be able to completely tell until it cools down and I can actually handle it, you know. But let's uh, see what see what I can see from here. And it's looking like it's they're looking pretty good actually. Uh, So far, I don't really see any pitting. All right. Okay, well here are the uh, the three covers that I just uh, painted. Got uh, gray, bronze, and black. And from the looks of it, They seem to turn out pretty good. Yep. There's a few spots right there. I mean, magnify it up with the phone. Um, overall, it, uh, it actually looks pretty good. Um, these are, uh, 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 covers, so, I mean, if this was for, you know, something else, I would probably be a little more, It looks pretty good. They look pretty good. Definitely, uh, I think they're going to be far more than enough than what these are actually. These are just uh, 
covers, um, electrical covers. Um, so, well, I think they uh, turned out pretty good. All right. All right. Well, if you like this video, I'd uh, appreciate a, a thumbs up. Feel free to leave any comments uh, down below. Uh, if you like, uh, if you like to see more videos like this, there's a big subscribe button over there. Um, and also, I should have some uh, videos down below you might like to watch. All right.